The Lincoln City head coach Michael Skamala has uh, joined us. What do you make of it? I mean, it is pre-season, but always pleasing to see your team come from a goal down. Yeah, it's pre-season, so we have to realise that. I thought um, I thought they were quite lively first half. Um, I thought we we started okay, but then we sort of dropped off a little bit. But then I thought second half we totally dominated the game and could have had loads more goals. So um, yeah, really pleased with the workout. It's always difficult these games, especially for the senior boys and the senior lads. You know. To play in 21s is a bit, you know, not the same, is it? It's not the same as real, you know, going going on to the game next week. It's not going to be the same. So, but what was really pleasing is I thought we looked like as really aggressive, really exciting second half, and yeah, really dominating the game. You kept your 11 and most of it for quite a long time in the game. Fans would look at that and think that's a sign of what's maybe to come next week. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Um, more so to just throughout the pre-season six weeks we've balanced minutes into people so we've done some behind closed door games on Tuesday where some of the other players in the squad didn't get um, got more more time so it's not just about that 11 it's also about getting minutes into players but yeah we, we just go push keep going build the squad minutes and um, yeah now we go into next week ready for the first one you got some positive glimpses on your keeper today making some important saves particularly in the first half yeah it's fantastic we know that we know he's got big saves in him. like you said a couple of big saves in the first half really good with his feet really good at claiming yeah he's 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 good hopefully if he keeps developing and keeps progressing um he's got the profile if you like to be a really really top keeper so we're really pleased with that and he's he's, he's one hell of a lad as well now i know it's pre-season and i know his day job is to be a defender but you'd have to have a hard heart not to have a, a smile on your face when lewis scores oh it's just amazing isn't it you know the journey he's been through um coming back and uh, if you want someone in those moments to score ahead it's lewis monson but like to be fair to tom shaw and stuff we just said like it's just great to see and the lads clapped him in the dressing room because when you've been through such hard injuries such a long time without and he's building his minutes back through through pre-season um, yeah it's just a great moment isn't it and for the fans to see it rather than be behind closed doors or or is just yeah just an amazing moment for Lewis and hopefully now he can kick on and keep progressing and yeah it's good I know we're talking to him in a bit but Rob did an interview with him when you were in Spain and I think it's to get into the mentality people have to and players you know you're being denied the thing you love doing your job for effectively the last two years yeah anyone that's been through long-term injuries knows how tough it is anyone who's been through two knows how tough it is when you go through three that's a tough world to be in but fair play to his character and his mentality he's, he's such a top lad he's a good trainer um, he's a good guy around the place so you know when you have good people in the building you want them to do well so hopefully now we can um, fingers crossed just look after him and he can look after himself and keep, keep him moving forward and a tidy finish from uh, Ben for the second yeah great finish I thought it was a great moment of play as well and I thought like I said I thought second half we could have had more goals as down here Dom Jeffries hits one half, half, half volley for Freddie would, would have been a great goal that goal as well so I think we had some really good moments second half we, we looked really dominant and effective which is great to see we're getting now towards the end of pre-season for some of us that can't come soon enough but I don't know whether you're the same I know it's a big part of the job but we must be looking forward to the fact that in uh, just over a week almost to the minute we'll be uh, seeing your team in action in the league yeah I think that's what we all want don't we it's a uh, pre-season's great pre-season's nice to play some games but the reality is it's all about league games it's all about cup games it's all about the real stuff um, and we're looking forward as a group to go into next week in a positive way we're confident um, we, if we work hard and we, we play like us we'll, we'll be okay and finally um, you've obviously had some changes and that's behind the scenes and your coaching staff uh, a new assistant head coach just take us through that yeah so Dave Bridges was here a few years ago as head of coaching and then he went off to the PFA um, to work with the likes of Fabregas and Jack Wilshere and develop them as coaches so Bridges is going to come in to be an assistant and he gives us something a little bit different and but adds to the group, adds to the coaching team, really good with, with individual players, really good at on the grass as well. So we've just now got everything, it feels like the jigsaws are starting to move into into place um, along with the players and the staff that are in the background as well with the head of recruitment as well. So we've got we've got lots going on, which is great to see off the pitch, um, but ultimately it's to aid what we do on the pitch. We talked to Liam pre-match uh, and inevitably transfers, as you know, it's almost the rule everyone I talk to <laughs> has to come up. He said there will be some more movement, but it might be a while. Yeah. yeah, we're not in a rush. I think we've done really well to go early on what we wanted to do in terms of movement. There will be some more movement, um, but we need to get the ones right and we're, we're willing to wait for those ones. Um, but there'll definitely be some more movement um, in, in the squad. Um, we still need to add a bit of strength to the squad and a bit, a bit more depth, I think. Um, but yeah, but we're not in a rush, like Liam says. We're not in a rush. We'll, we'll wait till we know it's right.